So the place where we're sitting right now is Caesarea Israel. This is a Roman harbor site that was established about 2,000 years ago on the coast of the Mediterranean. And one of the areas where we found really clear evidence for a tsunami event. Deposits of sediments, this sort of chaotic rubble layer that we see offshore. We also see evidence within the archaeological sites themselves. We have a phase within the site in which it's simply filled with sand and with stone that is the walls that collapsed into the room from the wave that came into the harbor and, and damaged the buildings that were on the edges of the harbor. But we also have a whole sequence of tsunamis that happened. In the past 2,000 years, we're looking at at least three events. All the red dots represent earthquakes of magnitude 6 and above that occurred during the 20th century. If you have an earthquake along the Carmel Fault, it can produce a tsunami because it goes into the sea. The problematics with this area is that on one side the very large population, the port, heavy industry, petrochemical industry as well. So if you combine together the effect of the hazard on the vulnerability of the structures in here, you may get very high damage and casualties down here in Haifa city. Israel is one of the most important players in the scene. They are probably one of the most advanced uh, countries in terms of preparedness and awareness activities. And we have a long-standing, very good working relationship, both at the scientific level and both at the operational level. We have real-time access to their sea level measurements and uh, they do receive uh, in near real-time our tsunami warning bulletins. Greece is uh, collaborating very closely with uh, Israel and other countries, of course, but uh, with Israel by sending uh, a tsunami warning uh, uh, after uh, large submarine earthquakes in the Greek territory, uh, but also in organizing together national exercises within uh, the frame of UNESCO system. As far as I'm concerned, we can discuss, we can debate. At the end of the day, the most important place of support is if you have the government backing it up and doing the things that save lives.